A 25 kVA transformer supplies a load of 12 kilowatts at a power factor of 0.6 lagging. Find the percentage of full load that the transformer is carrying. This is not an exercise on transformers. This is not an exercise on electric machines. This is an honest exercise on complex power, on apparent power, on reactive power, on active power. This exercise was taken out of an electric circuit's textbook, not a machine's book. Let's review the meaning of this 25 kVA transformer. That means that that transformer can supply any load from 0 kVA to 25 kVA. Let's make a drawing on the complex plane of power. The one that has a real axis P in kilowatts, active power, and then imaginary axis Q, reactive power in kilovars. What that means is that as long as the load of the transformer is within this circle of radius 25 kVA, the transformer is safe. In our case, the transformer is feeding a load of 12 kilowatts of active power. The apparent power is somewhere on top of that vertical dashed line. The power factor of the load is 0.6 lagging. So the power factor angle is going to be a positive one. And it's going to be the arcosine of 0.6. For the actual load, we know that its active power is 12 kilowatts measured here on the real axis of active power. And the power factor of the load that defines this angle is 0.6 lagging, so this angle is a positive angle. The angle whose cosine is 0.6. The apparent power of the load, this one, is 12 kilowatts divided by the cosine of an angle. The apparent power of the load would be 12 kilowatts divided by the cosine of an angle, 0.6, and that is 20 kVA. So that load is a load of 20 kVA, which is clearly not up to the full capacity of the transformer. It's not up to 25 kVA. The transformer is loaded only up to 80% of its capabilities. Now, the second part of the question is, how many more kilowatts of resistive load can we add without overloading that transformer? Well, the next load is going to be only kilowatts, is going to be resistive, and will be added to the current load. So the extra load is going to be drawn horizontally because it's only resistive, it's only active power. I don't know how much it is, but one thing I know is that when we add them together, the new load represented by this tiny vector plus the old load of 20 kVA, the total load is going to be 25 kVA. The total load is going to be defined by this vector, 25 kVA, the full load capacity of the transformer. Let's have a look at that little triangle. This angle here is known, is no other than theta, the arcosine of 0.6. But if we know that, we subtract that from 180 and obtain the internal angle here, alpha. And with that, we have a triangle where we know this side, 25 kVA, this side, 20 kVA, and this angle, whatever that angle is, 180 minus the arcosine of 0.6. Let's solve that triangle. And let's call this unknown power, this one, x. I will use the cosine law to find that out. I say the 25 square kVA is going to be 20 square plus x squared, I don't know what it is, minus 2 times x times 20, that is 40x, times the cosine of that angle alpha. And that is a quadratic equation in x. We solve for that. And we find x, what is the amount of active power, of resistive power that we can add to the transformer to bring it up to maximum load. And the solution is 7.2 kilowatts. That is the maximum resistive load that we can add to the already loaded transformer without overloading that. That will bring it up to 25 kVA, its rated output power. Thank you very much.